All right, guys, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. We are now outside the Heavy Hearts Club because we have now completed those gigs for Mr. Hands. Uh, in the last episode, we also met Reed to go to see Slider to help us, you know, locate Songbird. We managed to speak to her in the end. She seems to have been caught by Kurt Hansen, so we need to get her. So we need to know where she is now. But all that information, uh, basically, well, basically it did, it killed Slider. He wasn't very happy about doing it, and it cost him his life. But he did, but the way Reed described him, it seems like now that's one burden off his shoulders. Anyway, yeah, I did the um, first two of the gigs for Hans, and I felt like, yeah, I'll just do the last one in my spare time, and then come back to you when we're here. And now we are here. Hands to Luke come Luke. here, so let's see what... Hey, you there. This is a nice place, so play nice, hear me? Got our eyes everywhere. Okay. Sure. Let's have a quick drink. What you looking at, huh? Could use a drink. Thanks oh, nice. Uh, yeah, thank you. Bye. She was lovely. Lovely lady. Two five eight not two five eight no okay no two five eight nine Are we meeting Mr. Hans? Now, I see. Uh, and what is it your mother can't help you with? Oh, not. Your father must get back to work now. Okay? Okay. Ah, it isn't V. V. So that's what you look like. Favorite Merc. Splendid. What you completed for me significantly shifted the playing field vis-a-vis -vis Hanson. Excellent work, precisely as requested. Come on, Hans. Flattery, really? Seems a little beneath you. An overused tactic. Agreed. Unnecessary. No, V, this is strictly business. For those who do their work well, praise is a mere restating of the facts. Maybe the one thing I didn't expect, to see the man behind the hollow curtain, the elusive Mr. Hands in the flesh. Not only did you rescue those clowns in blue, you also managed to eliminate Dodger. Calm, collected, and professional. Bravo. You have proven to be a person I can trust, hence my decision to drop the veil and meet in person. A rare occurrence, I assure you. Were I to have more virtuosos like you, I wager I'd have more than Dogtown in my grasp. Dogtown, Pacifica, then I'd line up the rest, snort, and it'd be done. Working with bona fide professionals, positively a treat. Gigs you had me do. How will they solve your Hanson sitch? Take a boxer. He can't knock out his opponent. What then? He goes to work on the body. Once his adversary's stamina wanes, he looks for his opening, 
connects fists with jaw. I know it may not seem all that clear from where you stand, but the gigs you have completed will allow me to audaciously shift some of the pawns and figures on the chessboard that is Dogtown. Checkmate is but a few moves away. Take it you prefer Dogtown with no Hansen at the helm. Hansen wields much power, greedily so. He's also clever. These traits I tolerate, even value, when occurring in isolation. But all at once, no. Especially not in one who grips an entire district in the palm of his hand. It makes business... trying. And arrest you in some tea. It's my own blend. Sure, why not? So, how did this combat zone become Dogtown? Do you know? Heard this and that. Something to do with the war? 2069. Colonel Hansen led an operation colorfully called Midnight Storm. The objective? to occupy this combat zone and establish an NUSA staging ground in Night City. Soon after, the sides agreed to a ceasefire. Hansen's force was left to fend for itself. Headquarters, the public, everyone feigned ignorance, pretending Hansen and company were never here. But our good colonel decided to put down roots. He declared this combat zone an NUSA territory. In our terms, he carved out an enclave for himself and went from soldier to arms dealer overnight. Marooned he was. Two weeks for a bullet to reach his brain, everyone thought. But his brain remained intact, and he became a force to be reckoned with. A man whose existence is a threat to many is a dangerous man indeed. So right. good shit yet. But what about our deal? Did my part, time you did yours. Ah, indeed. Yes. Please. The Black Sapphire. Hansen stronghold, guarded by elite soldiers. Military quarters are situated on lower levels, while top floors are a decadent haven for the ultra-rich. The building's blueprint was not easily procured, I should say. Hansen guards his hotel secrets as if they were an embarrassing rectal itch. But, given a will, ways are usually found. You help a client of mine, they reciprocate, and I gain latitude. Quid pro quo in full effect. The building plans are yours. I'll even throw in vulnerabilities to watch for, a token of my appreciation. And, though this goes without saying, the data, its source, are completely secure. No one knows you have it. Data leaks, or lack thereof, are the difference between myself and, say, the late Mr. Deshawn. The Shard. Black Sapphire Info and Blueprints, all nooks and crannies. I trust it's all you need to waltz in and perform your planned pirouettes. Yet a word of caution. Even fully prepared, you'll be marching into a pit full of vipers. Watch your step. Thanks, Hens. I only hope this won't mark the end of our collaboration. Truth be told, a few new assignments seem imminent. Let me guess. More local political gaming? Activity is abundant in Dogtown, and behind closed doors, plots and schemes. Should change ever occur, as it inevitably must, someone really ought to pave the way for a smooth transition. Nice meeting you. Finally pinning a face on the name. You should count yourself lucky. Few have done so and lived to tell the tale. And V, 
Whatever happens at the Black Sapphire, make sure you come back alive, hmm? You're going where local and international politics mix. Strong currents, both. Make sure to plant my feet firmly, then. Later, hands. Yeah, I'll try my best to stay alive. Okay, that's, that's what Mr. Hands looks like. Honestly, that's not what I thought he looked like at all. From the from the the way he was like sat, it looked like he didn't have a beard at all. But yeah, well, we met him now. We got the stuff that we needed, and the information. I always need to tell Reed. these cars. Jesus Christ. The fuck is going on? Anyway. Reed, got the data shard from Hans. Our golden ticket into the Black Sapphire. Perfect. Send to No worries. This connection is secure. Catch. It's on its way. And reception complete. I'll pass it on to Alex. And as soon as you're ready, join us at the moth. If I'm not there when you arrive, just wait. Till then. And now I'm going to the moth. The man in the hour. <laughs> uh, I need, I'm gonna, every time I mention the moth, I'm gonna mention that joke. If you know it, you know it. If you don't get it, then, yeah. Pretty sure there was a fast travel point around here somewhere. I may be blind, but I'm pretty sure I thought there we go, here it is. There we are. I know it's not far but Yeah, I can't ask to run there. And honestly I don't trust driving through Dogtown for some reason. It just seems a bit crammed in some areas and easy to run people over. And, I run, and if I let run someone over in this place, I will literally have everyone on my ass. <coughs> oh god, relic. Johnny, help. I need your words of wisdom. I'm dying. Sit down. How can I help? Really? Starting to get used to it. Mr. the relic? Gets worse every day. The time I have left is evaporating quick. You experience them often? These attacks? Don't really keep count, but never know if the next one won't be my last. Wow, rough. No shit. Dead's breathing down my neck, always. I know what that feels like. Being a dead man walking? Exactly. I never talked about this, you know. I should be saying they tried to kill me. But sometimes it feels like they actually succeeded. So I'm talking to a ghost. Ambush. 
attempt on my life seven years back. Yeah, you said. What exactly happened there, Reed? I landed in the ICU, where I waited for some Arasaka goon to come finish me off. I was betrayed by our people, the FIA. I say betrayed, but I was sold out. Part of a deal, a peace offering. My head on a silver platter, all for a ceasefire. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay it. Come on, I want to show you something. I get it. You feel responsible for her. your captain, she's crew. No matter what sinking ship she's on, I'll be there to get her off. Even if I have to go down with it. Let's go. Yikes, dude. Reed kind of has a sad backstory. Right Where we headed? On a little trip down memory lane to see some old junk. I still can't believe Alex decided the best place for a bar was right over our old safe house. She's always had a twisted sense of humor. Where's she at? Waiting downstairs? She's finishing up recon in town. We should make ourselves at home until she gets back. Been dark for seven years, this place. Let's brighten things up again. What the... Oh. Wow. The end of any war is never pretty. Both sides race to tie up loose ends. A car bomb blew up one of my crew. Another was poisoned. The third got shot in the back of the head while buying a pack of smokes. A couple others just vanished without a trace. Every night we waited for our soccer agents to come finish us off. I had to make a choice. I chose to dig our heels in. I thought we still had a fighting chance. It was bold. It was stupid. A mix of both. Maybe I just didn't know how to walk away. Let it rest. Or maybe I don't know how to lose. Either way, we managed to save a few more agents. The price for that was yours truly. Tragic story, that. Well, I wrote it myself. You play grown-up games, you face grown-up consequences. Funny. Now to everyone. It was Songbird they asked to pull the trigger. Wait. Yeah. They wanted so me to actually kill her, kill him. I mean, pull the trigger, as in literally took out her iron and shot you. Not personally, but she unlocked the door for those who came and did. I was leaving the city, heading home. Songbird was still here, in this very room, in fact. She was guiding me on comms, led me straight into a trap, neutralizing me. The last assignment in Night City. Then she got a ticket home. And you're now trying to save her. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. I had plenty of time. I hope it doesn't turn out being a bad guy. On the focus, some things sharpen, others blur. But there comes a point when you just cut through the bullshit and see what's in front of you. Songbird is still my people, and nothing can change that. 
Fuck Reed. Now my ears is a whole nother story. But Songbird, no. I got nothing against her. So why Myers? I miss anything? Some reminiscing. So good. Let's get this show going. I checked up on Slider's contention. Fucking had it right, it turns out. I dove into old mission files wherever Somi was involved. They were buried deep, near impossible to access, even with my clearance. Each and every one, the Blackwall. All authorizations, mission orders, personally signed by one person. Rosalind Myers. Wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that shit floats to the top. The NUS is a small country governed by a woman with highly ambitious goals. Sometimes those ambitions went out of reason. But that's not something we need to pour over now. Alex, what do you have for us? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. We'll plan in a sec. Say, V. Like playing fancy dress up? Uh. Of course. Who doesn't? Mm -mm, then you'll like what I whipped up. Managed to learn that some pop megastar is gonna grace the party with a show. Guest list? Expect everybody who's anybody. That includes you. Gonna don fancy outfits and rub shoulders with VIPs. Be warned though, fancy doesn't mean easy. Ready for the deets, V? Let me hear him. Black Sapphire, the most heavily guarded place in Dogtown. Doesn't mean security's airtight though. V, you're gonna enter through a flooded tunnel system. Got a top-of-the-line diving suit, ought to fit you snug as a glove. Water's maybe a little super toxic. So yeah, be careful. What about Reed? Was just about to mention, he'll be there too, of course. Already know what the hotel looks like. Really, really hard to miss. Flooded tunnels here. That's your way inside. Now focus. You'll reach a terminal at the end, jack in and breach the cams, giving Reed his window to slip into the building. You'll take different elevators up, here. Saul will open a passage to his side. For you ask, yeah, it's the only way. Area could be heavily guarded, so you'll have to be on your tippy toes. Couldn't get clean intel, so you'll just have to be creative. Improvise. Oh, great. You're gonna meet here. Soon as you meet up, you'll doll up like it's prom night and go to the ball. That's where you'll rendezvous with Songbird. All clear? Yup. Prem. Okay, let's talk gear. Take your time. Grab anything you think might be useful. A surprise awaits you in the box. Oh! This your iron? Sure is. Her Majesty's been itching to return to active duty. Is that a silencer on it? That reminds me. Hands. Can I... Sorry, I know it's a bad time, but I kind of want to equip that. So this one. What did he want in return for the favor he did us? Got an invisible war going on in Dogtown. Hansen against anyone who wants a slice of the pie. Hans sees an opportunity, wants my help in exploiting it. Politics. It's the same shit wherever you go. You know, if not for you, we'd have no way of getting into the Black Sapphire reaching Somburg. It's good to have you on our side. I mean that, V. That it? We set? I believe we are. I'll hang back a while, and then meet you there. Enter the flooded tunnels. A little dusty. You're welcome, sir. What are we going to do with the ones that are going to be there? Going to lock yourself in here, bundle all the tools that have to resolve all the
ใช่สร้างเลยฮะฉันคิดว่าเป็นรัลลิกส์ที่ไม่ใช่แต่นี่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่ไม่ใช่I need to remember to equip the uh, diving gear before I, before I go there. Or before I enter, should I say. Take good care of Majesty, won't find a more reliable gun on her. Shows her some my ass more than once. Do have one for you. These past seven years, she went to serve again long major rain lead. No, I've got better things to do than speak to you. Let me go do this. I'm getting body up. Your ability, just pick this one. I'm in the water. Good. Now find a way to the other side. In the meantime, I'll do some recon around the hotel. Flooding these tunnels must have been Hanson's idea. He probably lacked the manpower to secure all the passages.
thing I'm not claustrophobic. I figured out the patrol rules, got them down. Set myself a safe path through and past them. Well, I thought it was going to be a jump scare or something. I think I'm going to go that way. Hustle up, V. Lower that platform. There you go. Front, no, you got up. I was just spamming X, you wouldn't do anything. Okay, I'm through the outpost. Approach your warehouse gate now.
Hoist! V, you still there? Sure am. I'm at the warehouse gate. You'll need to secure the area, crack it open from the other side. Okay. I'm gonna get behind this thing. Where are you, Reed? But these need delivering, chump. Well, um, didn't expect that. Stay sharp. We're in the wolf's den now. You scared? Can I put my actual clothes back on now? I can't. Shaking at the knees? Hell no. All right, find a vantage point to have eyes on. Neutralize any and all threats. Call it quiet. Dropped the sniper, nesting in his perch now. Had the perfect vantage point, saw everything. Cover me. You're in prime duck hunting position. New user detected. Calibration in progress. Firing mode inactive. I got you. What now? We do this nice and quiet if we can, got it? Spot any guards in my way, you give me a heads up. Don't worry, boss. Rifle sports a silencer if it comes to that. Better look around. Got a mine just past the corner. Well spotted. I could have missed it. 
Healthy smattering of guards along your path. Copy that. We'll take them out one by one. Best if they never knew we were here. I've got eyes in the sniper further down. He's not a threat yet. We'll deal with him later. See a bunch of containers. Could use them to get to your side. Yeah, see them too. Let me build that bridge. There's a service elevator nearby. We'll take that up. Gotta get there first, though. Cover me. Calibration complete. Firing mode active. Don't forget, always mind. Besides that, the coast is clear. Understood. Moving out. Mind the sound. Moving on. I can't see around the corner. All clear? I'm okay to move on? Patrol incoming. Copy that. Moving towards cover. Let me a honey till payday? No can do, chica. I'm flat broke, too. Well, I guess it's time for a little walk around the block. detector ahead. Can't get around it. Handle it, will you? Generator. Got a visual. Kill it. I see a bunch of cables. I'll see where they lead. Sensor disabled. Good work. Proceeding forward. Surveillance system link established. I need an assist. You take the guard on the left. The one behind the wall is mine. Got a clear shot. On my mark. Three. Look at us go. Good job. Let's keep moving. Thank finally it's not me doing all that stuff. I'm finally the one looking out. If I'm doing this and doing all the stealth shit. Heads up. Sizable patrol headed your way. Copy that. Moving towards cover. The sniper you spotted before. Remember him? You need to drop him. I can't progress otherwise. Yeah, wait for him to stop. Good work. Moving out. Shit, slow down. I have a visual. Thanks. The fact they didn't hear him is even crazier.
camera's mine. Good. Tag out target and fire. The rifle should punch right through that wall. You there? Guards down. Smooth work. Smooth. Yeah, it's already off. Was that? Got eyes rolling coming. Let's go. The guards could have spotted me, V. I need you to deal with them before they finish it, V. Clear. You can make your way to the bridge. Fine work. Almost there. Um. Okay. Oh, it's a bit odd that he was holding nothing, but it's what it is. Smooth work, V. Well played. I'm impressed. Let's head to the elevator. Follow me. Almost there, V. Fucking finally. You're looking a little pale. I'm always pale. Yeah, well, you didn't almost drown today. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I should have, I kind of should have had deja vu. You it's kind of... Me? Your cortisol level spiked up. A little deja vu is all. Different elevator, different hotel. The sitch didn't turn out great. What makes you say that? It's my job to notice things like this. I wasn't born yesterday, you know. Seen my fair share of shit, too. I know. But right now, we're crashing the party of a bad boy dictator. While aiming to walk out with his prized possession. Dress up time. Throw on your new threads, and plaster on your best fake smile. A party awaits. We're all set. Look, well, I hate to do this to you all. But I've literally just gone past 50 minutes on recording, and I doubt this is going to take like 10 minutes. So we go ahead and leave the episode there. But as soon as the next episode begins, we will continue on with this mission, and we'll get right into it. So hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Deuces.